welcome to my shop. Well, yeah, I just buffed out last coat of sanding sealer from a Fimiel I just made. Well, remember back the time, uh, well, t the two two weeks when I took pieces of plum wood like this and uh, made it into well turning blanks or other blanks and uh, the these beautiful two boards and I call this my plumwood challenge and for the plumwood challenge I started uh, and made made uh, this pencil here uh, this pen here from a cheap uh, well from a cheap pen the the insert and uh, this is the first piece of my plumwood challenge and in the next week you are going to see what I'll uh, do out of the boards and well it's related to this one but uh, you see what happens and now in the next couple of minutes you f please follow me along and uh, you'll see how I made this well beautiful pen out of plumwood. This will be the first piece of my plum wood challenge and I just put this into into my chucks and use the life center as a support and I go ahead and chew this up to have a round piece. For the insert, <clears throat> I need a four millimeter hole here, and I'll try to drill as straight as possible into this piece. Okay, and you see, it's far too short. So the 4mm hole is finished now and it ends up here at this point. Okay, just checking. Yep. <coughs> That's it. So I'll come back with the tailstock. down to 10 millimeters and okay so I pop this down to 10 millimeters now.
So this is my 10 millimeter drill bit now and I go ahead and drill into this uh, into this piece here about the depth of the of the dowel here. I clean this up on the with the sander. So the dowel needs to be a little shorter now. Okay, this is the six millimeter now. That's the four millimeter is too short. And I check this up, so I'll end up with the total depth I need. So this is the final depth now <clears throat> of the little bigger hole and what I'm going to do now is uh, just glue this piece back on. Okay, so this is it and I uh, go ahead and glue this back on trying to align the the original grain So I'll let this sit now for an hour or so and uh, I'll come back when the glue is dry because now as you see the, the whole length this fits into here without any problems. With the glue dry now I can go ahead and uh, True this up again because well it isn't that precise as I wanted to but I just go ahead and true this up. Okay, this feels pretty straight now. I go ahead and set my calipers to. Well, 15 millimeters, uh, 15 millimeters, which is the biggest drill bit I've got. And the reason for that you'll see in a second. So I take this down to 15 millimeters now, and then I go ahead and shape the the whole piece.
well this looks pretty nice and now I go ahead and instead of hiding this one here I'm gonna highlight it by making some uh, details, detail rings. This is it. Okay. Now I go ahead and stamp this. And I think this looks quite nice. Okay, with the second coat of. <clears throat> well, back with the second coat of wax dry. I go ahead and take my brush to buff it out. trying to part it off. just sent down the, the back here and now I put on some some wax and well this will be buffed out when it's dry in an hour's time or so So what is left to do is get the, the insert and just put it in here. That is a pretty tight fit. Here we go. So the first part of my plum tree challenge is done and uh, I hope you're looking forward for the next project on well it isn't the next project but uh, the complete um, but how I, com I complete this what I'm going to do out of the plum tree I got and as you see you can almost see you can you can almost this the joint which is actually over here in this groove uh, is almost invis uh, invisible at this part of the thing and, and and this pen looks real beautiful and it will be nice to 
to write with it. Well, yeah. Got a nice grip and nice feel. So thank you very much for joining me doing this and I see you next week. So thank you for joining me in uh, with the with my uh, plumwood challenge pen I made and here are uh, here is the the beautiful piece again and it's pretty nice to uh, to handle and you can write pretty good on that so if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel and uh, well uh, I hope you'll enjoy also the next build I'll do. Okay, thank you very much. With that said, with greetings from good old Germany, it's your Peter Freitag. Thank God it's Friday.